Hello, Namaste. I'm Prakash, Prakash Sandragiri from Pokhara, Nepal. Today, I'm going to share you five tips for learning English. Those who are pursuing to know, to learn more English language. English language is easy to speak sometimes. It's difficult to pronounce or to understand it well. So if you like to be a good, fluent, accurate English speaker or if you want to speak English so that you can improve your business, double your business, impact your community, English language is very powerful means, no doubt on that. So if you like to speak English well or learn English well, there are five tips I'm giving you today. I'm sharing you today five tips. If you practice or follow these five tips, you can learn English, I hope. Number one, reading. If you read novel, if you read books, the more you input, the more you can output. So reading is a powerful means, a way of learning or speaking. A good reader, a good listener can speak well, can share well, can cascade the new knowledge and ideas. Number one, that's why Stephen Krasen said, the more you input, the more you can output. The input hypothesis he has developed. And he has added one point I really like that. He said, having coffee, drinking coffee, reading books and being bilingual make you young, strong. Number two, tip number two is practice five skills. Everyone knows that four skills, listening, speaking, reading, writing. Practice these four skills, practice these four skills in the schools, in the campus, university. Everyone says that practice these four skills, listening, speaking, reading, writing. Everyone knows that. But there is another skill that is thinking skill. Listening, speaking, reading, writing and thinking. If you practice these five skills, like they are the five spokes of a wheel to move well. So number two tips is practice these five skills. Number three, tip, make a weekly learning schedule. What do you do Sunday morning for learning English? Afternoon, evening, Monday, morning, afternoon, evening, Tuesday, like that, up to Saturday. For example, Saturday morning, talking with your friends in English, chatting or talking on Skype with the foreigners. Afternoon, you can just share read the books or you can watch English movies for learning English. So make a weekly plan and that can help you to learn English. Number four, portive is exposure. Get more exposure in English. For example, in Pokha, if you leave, go lakeside, grab a foreigner, talk to him, say hello, namaste, and have opportunity to talk with the people, those who speak English well, or with your teachers with your mentors you speak English well get more exposure when you read when you listen to some songs or music have more exposure in English while reading while thinking while singing while listening everything you do in English and that help you learn English well number five tip is take risks be extravert person take a risk when you have the attitude like a positive attitude or high motivation that intrinsic, extrinsic motivation in learning, and you have the a passion to learn, and you are an extravert person, so that you take risks in learning. No method is perfect. No learning takes place without any any mistake. So a child cannot walk without falling down. Your mistakes are good symptoms of learning. Don't worry about the mistakes. Take a risk. If you follow these five tips, and you can improve your English. Number one, reading. Number two, practice five skills, listening, speaking, reading, writing, and thinking. Number three, make a weekly schedules. Number four, exposure. Number five, take a risk. Thank you for watching.